Welcome everyone to Leps World 3, the third game of the Leps World series. And actually, I believe that Leps World 4 is going to be coming out very soon. So when it does, oh my god, advertisements, advertisements. That's the problem with these iOS games sometimes. I mean, it's not a problem because that's how they make their money if the game is free. But it's a problem in terms of Let's Play because now you're having these random pop-ups up here on the screen. And it makes it all, like, all look unquality-like, you know? Okay, so single player. And the story is, I mean, it's Leps World. I mean, seriously, it's a freaking 2D platformer. They're not well known for their stories, but basically, um, what, they got robbed or something? Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, I'm drinking water right now. That's a, that's a fantastic way to start a freaking Let's Play. <laughs> no, fantastically horrible. Okay, I, I should stop that. So, then some guy got beaten up, I think, or something. I don't even know, man. I, I don't know. But yeah. So, um, there are quite a lot of levels in this game. Like, maybe twice as much as Lux World 2, I would say. But it's still not a, you know, overly difficult game. I mean, I say that now, but just watch. Just watch until later, man, when I have these issues. Okay, so in case you did not watch my Let's Plays of Lux World 1 and Lux World 2. Um, okay, do I don't need this tutorial. I don't. Yeah, you can basically move right and left. You can jump. Uh, you can you can double jump, but only if you make the double jump like really um, soon. Because if you wait too long until he does, like if you hold the jump, he will go up further. But once he goes up to a certain ma amount, you can't make the double jump anymore. So uh, be careful. Be very careful. The hell? I mean, his jump sucks, and like you gotta get a running start to actually get more. It's kind of like Mario, of course. Get a, getting a running start does actually you know, improve your uh, jumping a bit higher, if you know how to do that effectively. And generally speaking, I do know how I'm in, come on, I'm an avid Mario fan, you know. What? I know this already, man. I know this stuff. Look, a switch, which makes birds appear, which are like the, um, something, I, I don't know. I really don't know how I can describe those things. I mean, neither Mario games had that, like the red coins that appear, you know? Ooh, an extra life. Awesome. Yeah, by the way, I actually haven't gotten very far in this game, in terms of practice, so I don't know an incredible amount of it. Oh, jeez. But, uh, you know, I have familiarity with this series, Left Roll 1 and 2, so I'm pretty sure I should be doing okay with this. God damn it, ads. God damn it. I mean, it's actually gonna be something that appears a lot. Left Roll 3 would like to say notifications don't allow. Oh my god, this, this LP, man. It's gonna suck with all these damn pop-ups, right? Well, I mean, if you're somebody who can get past that, then you'll be okay. But if not, then unfortunately, you will probably hate this LP and probably stop watching this. Which sucks. Like, I hate to do that, you know? I hate to, um, like, have people do that on me. Just because, it's like, they don't like certain parts of an LP, like, of the game. But, I mean, you can't make everybody happy, you know? That's the reality of YouTube. Like, not everybody who watches your videos is gonna like it. There's some people who would like certain parts of it, but then there's others who just simply don't like those things. So, like, if you change it back, then, then people will be like, um, now I hate it, you know? Like, somebody will hate it either way, regardless of what you do, generally. And it kind of sucks. It does. They just keep going. Just keep going to the right, man. We should be okay. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just time or something. I could grab this. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna intentionally go for all of them, but you guys do know that by this point, like, if I get it, then I get it, but if I don't, then I don't. It's just that simple. Yeah, see, I've heard that ads appear in almost every single stage, like, after you finish a stage. Alright, so there's an arrow over here which points you to the left side, and like, ooh, well, I mean, there's just stuff here, but mm, nothing really. Like, I already have my three clovers, no need for that, of course. So screw it, let's just go. Yeah, so in this game, you can carry uh, 20 pine cones or whatever you call them, or, or are they acorns or something? I don't even know, man, I don't know. You know, speaking of acorns, I use this program, I mean, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know, following me, well, I mean, yeah, that's a good way to put it, but following is not the proper word for it, you know. Um, wait, what the hell? What if you could get stuck in here with no pine cones? Then, are you just stuck? Oh my god, you would be stuck. That is questionable. That is questionable design, man. Just saying. Jeez. 
let's just never get into a situation in which we have no pine cones because we do not want to experience that, just saying. Alright, well, um, what the hell was that? What? What was that? Okay, I just got something. Yeah, you can actually get upgrades on this one. They give you various things, and I don't know, like, the entire list and, like, what they do, but... I think through time, I will eventually learn. But yeah, um, I was talking about the acorn, you know? Uh, because, you know, the acorns in this game reminded me of the acorn program that I use. So, basically, if you have been subscribed to me, you would know that I do use a program for, uh, photo editing or just image editing, whatever, called Acorn. It's called Acorn 4, really, because it's like the fourth version. Also, I think by this point, it now has a better version, a newer one. I don't know about better, because newer does not always mean better. And I'll get into that in just a bit, but, um, yeah, about Acorn, you know? Um, basically, that program... Like, it cost me $50, and it has almost everything that Photoshop has. Like, it, it's crazy. It is a good program. It really is. And, I mean, recently it's been having problems just because of the whole freaking operating system that I did. Like, the update, and uh, that's not good. Yeah, so speaking about that, how I said Neewer does not always mean better. Oh my god, is Apple a good example of that? I'm just gonna say something right now. I love Apple, okay? I've been a fan of Apple for years, ever since, I mean, I mean, even as a kid in elementary school, you know, like, they had Macs, like, those big fat ones that looked like the TVs, they were the early Macs, you know? And, I, I mean, they were iMacs, that's how the iMacs originally looked, and they're good, like, they're great, you know, I like the iPhones, of course, when they first came out, and they're amazing, but, oh my god, recently, people, recently, um, I've had a number of issues. Basically, when I first got this computer, I have a Mac Mini. I, uh, I bought it in the end of 2013, December of 2013. So I've had it for, like, what, 2014, 2015? Like, what, two and a half years now, maybe? About that much time? And I would just say, you can wall jump? That's cool. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I would just say that, um... You know, when I first bought that computer, there was the operating system Mavericks. If you are a fan of uh, Macs or Apple, you know, then you would know what I'm talking about. But, what, dude, would you kill a spider? Thank you. But, uh, basically, Mavericks was a good operating system. But then eventually, you know, when Yosemite came out, the next operating system, I chose not to upgrade. And then, El Capitan came out, the newest one. And for a while, I also chose not to upgrade, and the main reason for that was because I already had everything that I needed for Mavericks, and I was like, you know what, what's the point of just, uh, you know, going for the next operating system? Because there's a chance it could give me problems, and I already have everything that I need at the moment with Mavericks, so... What's the point? But eventually, you know, just because I, I felt old school, old school now, because pretty much everybody that I knew had at least Yosemite, but more so El Capitan. You know, they had that, so... I decided to upgrade. And boy, was that a huge mistake. Shoot! What the hell? What the hell? Oh no. It's an auto runner. No, but yeah, you know, I eventually upgraded to El Capitan, and let me just tell you something right now, it has been nothing but pure, pure issues. Pure negatives. Shoot, shoot! Almost died right there, almost died. It has been nothing but garbage. Pure garbage, pure trash. Like, god damn it, Apple, what the hell are you doing with your damn operating systems? El Capitan is a horrible operating system that- that's Okay, I actually had to cut out that freaking trailer. Yes, it was a- it was a mini trailer of an ad. Because as soon as I beat the stage, it brought up that ad. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do some crazy editing. It was freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger shooting a freaking machine gun. Like, are you kidding me? What the hell was that? I'm not even kidding you. I'm not at all exaggerating. Like, wow, you've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, but, you know, speaking more about the, um, oh no, swimming. Swimming? How dare you swimming stages, man. Water levels suck. But yeah, um... God, I just wish I could go back to my Mavericks. Because... The newest iMovie has so many glitches. The iMovie, that, which is the, the main video editing, you know, that I use for these videos on YouTube. It has had nothing but freaking terrible stuff on it. Like, it's, it's so, so stupid. It really is. And like, I can't believe it. Pure glitches here and there, and just... The entire system actually is a bit slower than Mavericks, so I'm not gonna lie. It's slower, and I guess it's just because that, that they put so many more features... ...that now it just feels that way. And... 
some computers just simply can't handle it. Unless you're buying a state-of-the-art new computer this year, you know? The computer can't handle El Capitan very well because it just it has so much content nowadays, you know? Because they just keep expanding and expanding every single year. And also, my Blue Yeti microphone issue, it's most likely... Oh, shoot. It's most likely because of the operating system. Because I've had crackling issues with my microphone. Crackling slash popping issues, and I can almost guarantee you that it is because of that. What the hell? What did I just get? Ooh. Magnet. Interesting. Hmm, I need another clover, though. I mean, these damn things are scary. Is it the end? Thank you, it is the end. Yeah, um, so many problems, and I just hate this, you know? A part of me almost wanted to get... Okay, because see... If I were to get a new computer that can actually handle El Capitan, first of all, that would be a freaking huge scam by Apple. They're like, oh, we're purposely making old computers like this so that you're forced to buy a new one. If I found out one day that that was true, I would instantly ditch Macs and go for Windows. Even though I hate Windows, I would get readjusted. I mean, first of all, the good thing about Windows is that the computers are much cheaper than Macs. Much, much cheaper for the same power, basically. Like, for example, I bought a, um, I bought a Mac Mini, like I said, but if I were to buy an iMac, it would cost, at least a good iMac, it would cost at least $1,200. So that's a lot. But if I, were, if I were to buy a computer that had almost as much power as an iMac, or, or even as much power as an iMac, it would cost me about $600 to $800 at the most. Which is honestly a very amazing deal. Like, it really is. So that just shows you how much money you save. And, of course, you know, the problem with, um, well, I mean, the problem with Windows is that, in general, it can get, uh, viruses more easily because the market is bigger. It's not because, like, Windows are just more vulnerable to it. It's just because there's a bigger market, bigger, app more applications that can eventually, like, just hack you and stuff. And, yeah, I mean, that's kind of why, you know, Macs are much less than that. But... I mean, that is one of the reasons why I would be interested in getting one, but like I said, uh, I don't know, not necessarily all the time. Like, that's not the only reason for it. But we'll see, it's just that, man, it just has, it's had so many freaking issues, like, it's really annoying. And that is why I almost wanted to buy a Windows computer, because I have enough money to buy a, an all-in-one Windows computer, you know? Like, a, maybe a Dell or, a, you know, Pavilion or something, but, uh... An iMac, not really, you know? If I were to buy a Mac, it would be an iMac. I would not buy another Mac Mini, just because I... Dude, get up there! Actually, what the heck is that? Will you hit that stupid thing? Okay, that's an extra life. Hmm. Clovers? Oh, that's not a clover. What the hell am I doing? Dude, where's the end of the stage? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Shoot. Shoot. Hurry up, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's, that's actually a bad thing. That just leads me to some pot of gold, which I don't even care for, man. Oh well, get out of here. Oh my god, so many enemies. I'm trying to beat this damn level. But, uh, it's kind of long. I mean, actually, it seems that the stages are even longer, too. Like, like, there's not just more stages, but I think that they are longer, and that's, uh, that's a big problem. Uh, later, I cannot raid at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. I am up to 13 minutes of recording. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Just take it slow, man. Just take it slow. Yeah, I forgot how many levels there are in here. I think there's like over a hundred or something. Because see, in the first two levels... I mean, the first the first two games. Sorry, not levels. What am I talking about? The first two games... There were about, like, maybe 40 to 60 levels around there. But this one has like 120-ish or something. And, uh... That's what I'm saying. Like, it's about double as much. So... Yeah. Quite a lot, I must say. Why doesn't the weight make the birds fall? That would have been really cool. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, I thought those platforms, like, exploded or something when you stand on them, but apparently they don't. Good to know. Okay, I'm- Dude! Give me this. Give me this magnet. Oh no. I have the weirdest sneezing sensation right now. Do not sneeze, man. Do not sneeze in the middle of recording. No, no, I'm talking weird because I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, okay, it's kinda gone. Man, I hate that. I hate it when that happens in the recording because I, I don't want to sneeze, you know? Because it's going to be so loud, it's going to explode the microphone. And... Yeah. People would hate that. Oh shoot, there's fire over there. Oh, never mind, it's on the background. Like, right there it looked like it was actually on the foreground, but it, it wasn't, you know? A heart? 
What the hell? Okay, that was weird. But whatever. Okay, what is this? Ultra speed? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sonic Hero! Shut up. Shut up. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Okay, how do I replay this stage? Is it just that? Shoot. No, I don't want to play this junk, man. Yeah, you can actually play as more leprechauns in this one, by the way. You can, if you want to. But, um... I mean, I don't think there's any differences aside from just aesthetic purposes. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it could be wrong. I could be very wrong in that. And if I am, I'm sorry, but... I mean, clearly, I don't know this game too well to be saying things like that, you know? Okay, um... The stupid snail here. Okay, there we go. Screw that guy. And then this guy, too. Hmm, no clovers. Well, that sucks. Ooh, give me that. Yes, I want that stuff. Okay, what just happened? Oh. Like, I'm gonna go for these birds. Actually, I might get them. I don't know. Come on, platform, get over here. Ha! Huh. I got the birds. Is that all of them? I, I guess it is. But wait, what the hell did that give me? I don't even know. Give me this clover, which I actually don't think I needed. Shoot! Shoot! I didn't realize that they have spikes for some damn reason. I did not see that. Oh my god, you stupid animals. Oh my god. I'm down to one health point. No. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. Shoot. That's scary. That is so scary, man. Okay, keep going, keep going. There we go. We made it. Yes. Okay, another stupid advertisement. Which was an actual video. Yeah, those video ones I'm gonna have to take out because I do not want to get, um, you know, content ID matches or something here on YouTube or copyright stuff. Because they are actual, like, they look like almost movie scenes, you know? So I gotta be careful about that. I mean, they're just ads for video, like, video games, but they have, like, real people and stuff. Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger one was, you know. Man, he's been advertised so much for Mobile Strike. Like, it's ridiculous. It really is. Shoot. Almost killed me right there, man. Clover. Yes, got the Clover. Where the hell did those things go? The dudes that were following me. Did they die or something? I mean, I guess they did, you know? Okay, that was a really easy stage, not gonna lie. That was a really, really simple stage. Okay, moving on to the next one. We are doing 1-12. Alrighty. This one is not an auto runner. Okay, let's see here. What? Down arrow? There is nothing down there, game. You're on something. Oh, shoot. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah. I, I gotta do this. How do I... Yeah, that. So, I gotta, like... It's a very uh, weird mechanic. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, like, sometimes I feel like... Like, um, I'm just having so many issues with that. I don't know why. What the hell? Is that a frog? What the heck was that? I don't even know, man. And I'm not gonna find out. Just keep running. Just keep running and platforming, you know? Shoot, shoot! I, I couldn't see, man! That was gonna be a blind jump. Okay. Whoa. What did I just get? Like, high jump or something? I... No, no, no. That's a super speed. What am I talking about? Super speed! Sonic the Hedgehog once again. Uber! Why pay for parking? <laughs> I, I... Like, seriously, you know? What the hell? I mean, I'll be honest. I haven't used Uber ever. And there's actually a really good reason as to why I haven't. It's a pretty funny story, but uh, basically... I met this guy in one of my classes. I mean, we're somewhat friends now, I guess you could say. I mean, like, acquaintances at least, but like we haven't hung out too much. But the point is that, you know, I was in a group with him. And, um... He told me and the rest of the group that... What the hell is that? A key? Yeah, he told me and the rest of the group that he does Uber. Okay, just lag right there. What the hell was that? Um, but the thing is, yeah, like, yeah, like, you know, he works on uh, Uber, but, um, in the past, he's actually been driving an Uber drunk. I kid you not. He's done it drunk. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can safely assume that, um, he's not the only one. Yeah, by the way, th that's invincibility. I'm just saying. Invincibility is good. Shoot! You little piece of trash. Yeah, you know, so that reason alone is the main reason why I do not want to do that, because it's pretty safe to assume that he's not the only one who's done that in the past, you know? Just saying. Just saying. So, the fact that there are people who are actually doing it, like, you're paying for a service 
to drive you, yet you are in more danger to crash or get stopped or something than you just driving. Like, that's stupid if you're paying more. And, I mean, I'm not gonna... Uh, like, I didn't tell him that or anything like that because, whatever, you know, I'm just saying that I'm not gonna be doing Uber. Like, I'm not gonna be hiring Uber, I should say. Because I just don't. I just don't want to, you know? It's, um, very risky, very scary in a way, now that i found that out. Because, like, I mean, seriously, if you're gonna drive drunk, Jesus Christ. I mean, first of all, you shouldn't be doing that. Drinking and driving. But, I mean, even if you say you shouldn't be doing that, there are people in the world who will still do it, you know? So, it's not like there's going to be a complete stoppage the more you try to promote that. Because it's never going to happen, like, to a completely, like, zero degree, you know? Oh, dude, I'm invincible. What am I doing? Run. When you're invincible, just keep running. Because nothing can harm you at all. Okay, just keep going. So, I've only died one time, right? I believe so. There we go. We did it. We did it! Or as Bomberman says, I did it! In Bomberman, what, Hero or something? Okay, so... Let's go back. And let me see how many stages I did. So I did... I did quite a lot. I mean, I did what? Uh, 13, 14, 15 stages? I did that many? Wow. That's impressive, I guess. I mean, there's a number of stages in this game, like I said. I mean, there's how many worlds? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, there's so many freaking worlds. Like, that's insane. I mean, that one sounds coming soon, and I don't know if I'll be doing the bonus levels. I really have no idea. Because I think you have to unlock, like, stuff to get those. But whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm done with this episode. That was part one of this, and this series should be, like, maybe about ten videos or so. Maybe a little bit less. I don't know. We'll see. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.